What's up everyone, Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video today. We're checking out McLaren Artura. All right, we're gonna do a stage five shift pattern in tune. We're gonna do a maxed out stage six shift pattern in tune. We're gonna do a review on the car. And at the end, I'm gonna show you a live racing tune, which, which will make this car just dominate in live racing. It's gonna be low upgrades. So it's gonna be a uh, low performance point high Evo. And it should just uh, rip everybody to pieces with only a few upgrades on the car. And when when live racing, when you look at live racing today, the way the game's set up, these are the kind of live racing setups you want. These are the best live racing setups currently. Low performance point, high Evo. Thank you to Nitro for CSR for letting me use his account. I don't have this upgraded on mine yet, so link to his channel in this video's description very nice of him to let me use his account so let's get on with it stage five no let's do the stage six maxed out shift and tune and then we'll move over to stage five afterwards so when the car is 100 percent maxed out with all the stage six and all the fusions you bring your nitrous all the way to the right final drive all the way over to the left tire pressure at 26 psi all right so that's how we're going to tune it Let's go do some test runs and I'll show you guys exactly how to drive it. All right, so we're going to let go of the gas just a little bit after number one to try and get a perfect start. Pretty much instantly shift into second gear, right around 3000 to 4000 RPM shift into third, nitrous on fourth. All right, that should run a really good time. So here we go. Three, two, one, go. Second, third. I hit nitrous on the wrong gear, right? But you get the idea. You get the idea. This thing has got eight gears. All right. Eight gears. We kind of messed up our shift pattern. Let's go ahead and run that again. That was a big old crap sandwich right there. That was a 7.828. Uh, world record time is a 7.68 something. At least last time I looked, that was the world, world record time. So let's go do one more run on this and make sure we get it right this time. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Second, third, fourth and nitrous. Fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. There we go. That was it. That was it. All right. That should have been much better. That's how we drive this guy when it's 100% maxed out. There I got a 7.779. Not a bad run. All right. Not a bad run. I think the girl guys, the guys that hit the world record times. All right. I think they're using some sort of program that shifts perfectly for them. And I don't have that set up, so I shift it myself. So it's really hard to hit those world record times, but that's the way to do it when it's maxed out, guys. That's the way to do it when it's maxed out. And when the car is maxed out, it has a dyno time of a 7.849. So the car does beat dyno by a little bit when it's maxed out. So when you have all the stage five parts installed and all the fusions, this is how we're going to tune the car, guys. Nitrous is still going to be all the way to the right. Final drive is going to be at 2.48, and we're going to leave the tire pressures at 26 PSI. All right. Changing parts does change the way your car needs to be tuned. So you, can, you can't really copy people's tunes unless your parts match theirs exactly. So... Make sure you check out my tuning playlist if you don't know how to tune a car properly. But if your parts match mine, you guys can just copy this tune, all right? So let's go ahead and show you guys how to drive it on stage five. Okay, so it seems like the same shift pattern we use for stage six is gonna work pretty good for stage five as well. So let's go ahead and run through that really quick. Three, two, one, go, second, third, all right? Fourth and nitrous, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. And that's all she wrote, guys. So that's how you're going to do it for stage five and maxed out, right? There's a 10.082 with a dyno of a 10.168. So let's go ahead and do a little review on the car. And then we're going to talk about a live racing setup. Okay, so let's do a little review on this car and then we will talk about the live racing setup, which only requires a couple parts to be installed and it is going to dominate and destroy everybody in live racing. All right, so bottom line, this is a pretty decent car. It's pretty good at everything. It beats dyno naturally by a little bit. All right, 360 miles per hour top speed, 
Um, 0 to 60 in 1.0 something, 0 to 100 in 1.5 something, and it can be tuned to do it faster if you need to tune it for fast acceleration, okay? So it runs a 7.7 .7 maxed out, which is decent, all right? Decent top speed, good acceleration. It's going to be a pretty good car for almost everything. Plus, we have an amazing live race set up for it. So if you don't already have a good tier 5 car, this might be worth putting some uh, upgrades into, okay? Now, if I didn't need it for the Prestige Cup, since I've got plenty of good tier 5 cars already, I don't think I would upgrade it except for... I would set it up for this live racing tune, all right? But I need to do the Prestige Cup with this car this season, so I'm going to go ahead and fully upgrade it as much as I can. But if I didn't have to do the Prestige Cup, what I'm going to show you right now is the way I would set it up, okay? This is going to dominate in live racing, guys. This will be a live racing monster. You can see we got 1,706 Evo and 614 on the performance points. So that's almost three times the amount of Evo as performance points, which means this car should have a huge lobby advantage and win the majority of the live races without beating the dino times. And that's what you want, okay? You don't want to beat the dino times anymore when you live race. So let's go ahead and show you the setup for this. So to turn this car into a live racing monster, we are going to fit the engine to stock, turbo to stock, intake to stock, nitrous stage one, body to stock, tires stage three, transmission stage four. All right, you can even put your transmission to stage three if you want. I just put it on stage four so I can still tune the transmission. And yeah, let's go ahead and check out the dyno really quick and we'll do some test runs and show you how to drive it on this crazy live racing setup. And this car has got a 12.269 on the uh, dyno time. And we do not want to beat that time. So I could probably tune the car to run like a 12.4 or maybe a 12.2 by changing it around a little bit. Just in case you want to get into a different lobby or something. But anyways, this is how we drive it. 12.269. We don't want to run faster than that. Now, surprisingly, we're still going to use the same shift pattern as we used on stage 5 and stage 6. Normally, you change up the shift patterns. Now, this one is going to beat the dyno, so you might need to slow it down before you cross this finish line. If you win live races while beating the dyno, you will get pushed into the faster lobbies. So, 3, 2, 1, go. Second, third. All right. Fourth and nitrous. Fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. And now, right before we cross the finish line, we're going to be like downshift downshift real quick two du two double downshifts um 12.278 so that ran just a little bit slower than the dyno you can see the last run was a 12 12.160 which could possibly get us pushed into a faster lobby which we don't want now like i said if you want to change the car into a different lobby we're on uh 12.269 we could get 291 you know 12.4 so i'm thinking 12.4 i like to be i like to be right around the top of a lobby so 380 i think 12.406 that's going to be a nice place so 3.11 is going to get us good so let's try another test run our goal is not to beat 12.4 okay now personally it will run a little faster the other way more than likely but this will probably be a better live racing tune or lobby or whatever like i said i ain't feeling good don't mind me you guys get the idea though <laughs> all right and we may or may not need to slow down guys let's find out <laughs> do we beat 12.4 if we beat 12.4 then yes we need to slow down yeah 12.375 so we do need to downshift or maybe even don't hit your nitrous. Let's try this without hitting the nitrous and see what happens. But this gives you a really good idea of how to tune and set this car up for live racing. And these low performance point high Evo tunes do dominate. All right, let's try no nitrous at all. My guess is it will run too slow, but can't hurt to try it, right? Can't hurt to try it. 
So if we run slower, 12, 337. Oh, it didn't really make much of a difference. So you don't even have to hit the nitrous, but our goal is to run as close to 12.4 without beating it as possible. All right, 12.406. So we might even be able to get the, a little bit better with the tires if we want. I mean, you can always play around with these things. 406, 407. So yeah, 406. That's about where we're going to get. So anyways, I think that wraps this video up, guys. That's how I would set this thing up for live racing. And we will catch you later. All right. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great day. Lightning out. Thanks for watching. See ya.